Hey guys, Angry Beast here. I'm bringing you some domination gameplay on the map Village. And I'm running around with the UMP 45 with the silencer. And I'm rocking out the scorpion without any attached to my secondary weapon. Um, when you spawn on the side that I did on domination on this map, it is very important that you take this route here. Because if you do not, the other team will cap C and you'll be spawn trapped at A the entire game. You need to have C right off the bat. Because they spawn so close to both C and B, it's easy enough for them to just cap both of them right off the start. And if you can't clear them off the flag, you're going to be screwed for the rest of the game. So luckily we got that flag capped off at the beginning here, which uh, ends up leading to our victory. But As a general rule, you need to cap C. C is the most important flag on this map, not B. Um, but I'm rocking out the UMP45 silence here. I think I have range on it, as well as uh, the Choco Camo. I'm um, using the Special Strike Package with Sleight of Hand, Assassin, and Steady Aim. I do pick up the Specialist Bonus once in this gameplay. which It's not too bad. It's me trying to rush around and win the game. This is some ground war, uh, as far as I know. And I'm using the Stun Grenades, I mean, Flashbangs, and Bouncing Betties. Um... What this gameplay is about, really, is about halfway through this game, the connection goes terrible. I have no clue what happens, but the connection goes from being pretty good the whole game, and then all of a sudden, bam, it's, it goes to nothing. I'm lagging all over the place, and any frame skips you see in this game are, are not the render settings. There's nothing wrong with my frame rate or whatever there. This is the actual Xbox dropping frames. So, this has gotten really bad over the last week for me. I don't know if they tweaked their lag compensation again, it got terrible. For me, but I I can't play this game anymore. This it's doing all this frame skipping every single game. There's not been a single game I've gotten into after this gameplay where I haven't been skipping frames and jumping around. It, it it's gotten to the point of ridiculousness. I'm gonna try to go back and play some older games, maybe some Modern Warfare 2, some Black Ops, and see if I can do any better there because it's getting to the point where it's impossible for me to get gameplay. I'm lagging so bad in each and every game I join. It doesn't matter if it's a team tactical, it doesn't matter if it's a 6v6 dom, it does not matter if it's a ground war. I I can't get into a game, it's got a solid connection, so. Hopefully patch 1.5 comes out soon on the consoles and it fixes some of the stuff. If you didn't know, patch 1.5, at least on PC, what it does, instead of having the lag compensation, make the host lag the same as the worst player in the lobby, it makes it the same as the best player in the lobby, which is a interesting tweak. I don't know how much that'll change, but I'll definitely try it after patch 1.5 comes out. But if they don't, if nothing changes after that, I'm not sure I'm going to be playing this game much longer. I love the game. It's very enjoyable when you get a solid connection. But it's gotten to the point where I can't get a solid connection. Um, this is a really powerful spot on this map if you know how to use it right. Because we got them spawn trapped today, this is one of the worst spawn traps in the game. You can literally stand right here. You can constantly pick them off as they run through this uh, corridor there. Um... Some people might say I'm camping, I'm not playing the objective. No, I'm just holding on their spawn right here. I don't want to lose the game at this point. And uh, it's just part of how this map is played. If, you're not, if your team's not spawning at A, their team is. Even though we're triple capping them right now, they will not get out of this A spawn. This has got to be one of the worst maps in Call of Duty in history, in my opinion. Except for maybe Mission, because Mission's got that terrible spawn trap. And Summit on Black Ops had a pretty bad one too, but nothing to the level of this one where you just keep spawning in the one spot over and over again. But I run out of ammo with my UMP and I, and I start using the Scorpion. The Scorpion isn't too bad in this game. It's definitely not at the level it was in Call of Duty 4. It was my favorite submachine gun in Call of Duty 4. It was okay in Black Ops. It was definitely up there by the MP5K and AK-74U, but... Um, right there, that was lag right there. I, I didn't see that guy until it was almost too late. I pick up my specialist bonus here, and this is very frustrating. I, I hit him, I drop him a second chance, and the game lags, and I can't kill him. I don't know what happened here on his screen. I fired, I shot him down, but then I didn't shoot at all afterwards. I don't know what happened there. This is the type of stuff I'm talking about. It's it's too frustrating, especially with um, when you're doing good like this, and you got death streaks or galore. Uh, it's just so frustrating to me, and I don't know how to how to combat this. I've tried uh, purposely doing what Only Use Me Blade has done. I've tried downloading really large files and uh, seeing if that helps. It does. It helps a little bit, but it's not a long-term solution because um, it ends up uh, affecting all the other users of the internet in my household, and that doesn't work. It, it really doesn't, so I'm going to try going back to the older games, like I said, and hopefully those have better connection for me.
Um, I got a pretty decent connection. I think I get like 16 down and 5 up usually. So it's not my internet. I'm pretty sure it's just the game having its lag compensation junk. But let's talk a little bit more about the UMP-45 with the silencer. Um, the first game this gun appeared in, and the only other game, I believe, was Modern Warfare 2. And it was an absolute legend in that game. Um, it was a three-hit kill at all ranges with the suppressor, and you could literally just kill people at longer ranges than the ACR with this. It was crazy. It had very low recoil and, and a very high damage, which made it a very unique type of weapon to use. I don't think there's been any weapon in Call of Duty history beyond, besides this gun that could three-hit kill at all ranges and have 100% move speed. The closest thing I could think of is maybe the MP40 from World of War. I'm not quite sure on the, the damage levels of that gun, but that was a really powerful weapon in itself, too. Um, oh, this gun in this game though as I've talked about before it's not as good especially with the silencer it, it, it's usable but it's not the level that it was you're not going to pick up crazy long shots with this gun even with a range proficiency in silencer so if I had to recommend this gun I recommend rapid fire and range most likely kick isn't too useful on this gun it doesn't have that high recoil as it is especially if you can manage the recoil with the rapid fire you're gonna have no problem picking up nice long shots here. And right here, this is what I'm talking about. Stuff like this. I'm trying to jump over this ledge, but the game keeps lagging me back and I end up dying. So, this type of stuff is what's really making me want to quit this game for now. At least until a patch comes out. But, I, I love the game. I just hate the way it plays. <laughs> I love the fa how it's fast paced, but I hate the fact that I have to jump all, all around all the time. Because I can't aim straight. Like... If, if they would just remove this entire lag compensator thing entirely, I think it'd be a much better game. But they've, they've tweaked it. They've said, oh, we fixed it now. You shouldn't run in this problem anymore. And this gameplay right here is proof that they haven't fixed anything. There's a kill towards the end coming up here. That's absolutely ridiculous. I shoot the guy at least ten times, and I'd say only half my bullets hit, which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. A gun like the UMP-45 with low recoil and uh, high accuracy shouldn't take that many bullets to kill i mean half the bullets i shot didn't even get hit markers and my aim was dead on so i'm gonna try going back to black ops you could probably expect some n16 gameplay from that game because that was one of my favorite weapons in that game i know a lot of people like the g11 better but there's just something about the m16 that always has a draw for me i, I will always pick up an m16 and use it no matter what game it's i'm playing it's got that draw of being an American weapon that's so iconic that uh, it's just got an amazing appeal for me. Uh, in every game I've played, it's been a good weapon. It's not the worst weapon in the game by far. I mean, the only weapon I could say where it's not that good would be uh, Battlefield 3, the M16A4 in there, at least from the beta that I played. It wasn't that good in my opinion. But then again, it's just Battlefield. Like right here, this is what I was talking about. It shouldn't take that many bullets to kill a guy at this range from a UMP. I literally shot through 15 bullets there. The only reason I survived is because I had superior cover. Um, so, but this gameplay's over. It was a 29 and 13 with UMP 45, and this game was lagging like crazy. I hope you guys enjoy it. I didn't have that much fun playing this game, and I don't from here on out. Um, until they fix this game, expect some Black Ops gameplay. I have, I believe, two M16 gameplays from this game, though, that I can upload from the same play session as the other one. But, I'm Angry Beast, and I'm signing out.